What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I'm enjoying a nice hot cup of freshly brewed coffee to stay caffeinated. I hope you are as well so you can pay attention to the whole video. Don't you dare skip around. Today you and I are talking about weightlifting and we're talking about cardio and specifically should you do your weightlifting before you do your cardio or should you do your cardio before you do your weightlifting. Many coaches will tell you that you should always, 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 always do your weightlifting before you do your cardio. And while that's true in many cases, it's not true in every case. And that's what I wanna talk with you about today to discuss the nuance of it. And so you can figure out which one is best for you. If you should lift your weights first or if you should do your cardio first or a combination of the two so you can get the best of both worlds. Quick reminder, if you comment hashtag sorting hat squad within the first 24 hours of this video going live, you are entered to win a free month in my inner circle. Every single video, I pick three winners, three winners every single video. So comment hashtag sorting hat squad right now and I will let you know within the next week if you won a free month in my inner circle. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. Let's get into it. I'm gonna put this down so I don't spill it all over myself. Okay, so like I said, many coaches will tell you that you should always do your strength training before your cardio. But surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Just like everything in the fitness industry and really in life in general, it's not so black and white. So before we get into the nuance of this whole discussion, we have to be very aware of the single most important determining factor when you're trying to decide if you should do your weightlifting before your cardio or your cardio before your weightlifting. And what that really boils down to is your goal. So to go straight to number one, if your goal is strength related, if your primary goal is to get as strong as possible, to increase your deadlift, to increase your squat, to get your first chin up, to get really good at push-ups, to increase your snatch, to increase your clean and jerk. If your main goal is strength related, then you should absolutely do your strength training first. And there are many reasons for this, not least of which is you want to have the most amount of energy and the most amount of focus for the most important thing on your to-do list. If your primary goal is strength, you want to go into your strength workouts with the most energy, the most focus. You don't want to be fatigued or tired or drained going into your strength workouts because that is your primary goal. So again, if your main goal is strength, then you should begin with your strength before you do your cardio. On the other hand, if your main goal is cardio and or skill-based, I'm gonna explain this in a second, then you should start with your cardio and or skill prior to doing your strength. I'll give you some examples. Running a marathon, which, I have no idea why anybody would wanna run a marathon because it seems like torture to me, but a lot of people do it, so let's talk about that. Obviously, running a marathon is very cardio-based, right? You don't need explaining for that. But it's also incredibly skill-based, and this is something so many people overlook. It's not like anybody with good endurance can run a marathon. Because in order to run a marathon or a 5K or a 10K or whatever it is, you have to have good technique, and that technique is a skill. And for whatever it's worth, this isn't solely relegated to running. This is for jujitsu, this is for baseball, this is for basketball, this is for golf, this is for tennis. All of these sports, all of these athletic endeavors have a massive skill component to it. Now often they also have a huge amount of cardio involved as well. So what you have to take into consideration here is your primary goal. If your primary goal is to run a marathon, if your primary goal is to compete in jujitsu, if your primary goal is to be great at tennis, whatever your primary goal is, if it is not strength related and it's more cardio and or skill related, then you should do your cardio and or skill related activity before you do your strength training. Going back to the marathon example, imagine you did a heavy lower body workout, squats, deadlifts, lunges, hamstring curls prior to running. Not only would that hurt you from a cardio perspective, but from a skill perspective, do you really think you're gonna be able to practice the skill of running with good technique if your hamstrings are cramping up and sore out of your mind? Of course not. And this is what so many people overlook. If your main goal is strength related, then your cardio should supplement your strength. Likewise, if your main goal is cardio or skill related, then your strength training should supplement your cardio and or skill. And if you're doing strength training prior to running and that's negatively affecting your cardio and or the ability to maintain proper technique while you're running, well, you're not training properly. So to quickly summarize this as best as I can, again, if your main goal is strength related, squats, deadlifts, bench press, chin-ups, clean and jerks, overhead press, blah, 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 then do your strength training prior to doing your cardio. On the other hand, if your main goal is skill and or cardio related, running, tennis, jujitsu, basketball, baseball, cardio and or skill, you should do that before you do your strength training. 
Now, on the other hand, what if you just wanna be healthy? What if you just wanna lose some weight, you just wanna have better endurance, you wanna get stronger, you're not trying to be a pro athlete, you're not trying to be an elite bodybuilder or an elite powerlifter, you just wanna be stronger and healthier and happier. Well, in that case, it really doesn't fucking matter if you do your weightlifting or your cardio first. I know there are gonna be some people in the comments section who get really, really angry and riled up that I said that. <laughs> but it's the truth. The most important thing is that you're doing some strength training and you're doing some cardio. If you're just in this to get healthier, to get a little bit stronger, a little bit more fit, be happier, more athletic, the reality is it doesn't matter what order you do it in, just make sure you're doing a little bit of both. Now I will say this, and this has worked for a lot of my inner circle members, if you hate one more than the other, do the one you hate first. So for example, let's say you hate strength training, you hate lifting weights, but you love cardio you should do your weightlifting first because you get it out of the way, it's done. You know that if you do your cardio first, there's no way in hell that when you're tired and ready to leave the gym, you're gonna go to the thing that you hate the most, which is strength training. On the other hand, if you hate cardio and you love weightlifting, do the cardio first. It doesn't have to be a super high intensity interval training session, it doesn't have to be a 45 minute long cardio workout, but do a little cardio before you do your strength training because you know if you do your strength training first, you're gonna get the hell out of the gym before you even think about doing some cardio. So again, my point here isn't to say one is better than the other for the average person. It's just to say, do them in whatever order you prefer and it might help you to do the one you hate first just to get it out of the way from the beginning. Now, before we end this video, I wanna talk about trying this because I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about what the best strength training program is. What's the best workout? Now, the reality is I don't think there is a best workout. I think the best workout is the one that you enjoy the most and the one that you can do consistently that's gonna get you stronger, healthier, and happier and live the best quality of life. With that being said, if you want help, if you want to be told what exercises to do with video tutorials on how to do them so you can do them safely without hurting yourself, if you want a very strong community who encourages you and supports you behind you, I strongly recommend trying my inner circle. I'll put the link in the description. It is without question the single most supportive online fitness community in the world. We just launched a brand new app to go along with it that makes the workout super easy to follow, it tracks your personal record, has a timer on there to make sure you're sticking to your rest periods. If you don't know what to do and you just want someone to tell you what to do, and by someone, I mean me, go to the link in my description, join my inner circle. I think you're gonna like it a lot. With that said, I'm gonna leave the video here. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, subscribe if you don't already, and don't forget to hashtag Sorting Hat Squad in the comment section if you want to enter to win a free month in my inner circle. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.